All right, folks, so today Wahoo is joining the steering party by officially rolling out steering functionality in their RGT or Road Grand Tour cycling app. Smart interactive bike trainers have already done wonders helping us pass away the time indoors by being able to automatically control and replicate the resistance that we'd feel on hills while riding outside. Then we have accessories like the kicker climb, which add yet another interactive element where this can actually change the angle of your bike, which can replicate how we'd actually be positioned on some of those climbs. But to add even more interactivity, then we have steering within those games, which can be both a fun thing to keep you engaged, but there's also other benefits like drafting and finding the best lines while racing. Now, along with the actual steering functionality that they're releasing, in RGT today, they're also releasing it in conjunction with a hardware accessory called the Kicker Steer. And this basically just attaches to your bars where you can use the RGT remote app for steering on your smartphone when paired with the RGT game itself running on a PC or tablet. But another option I found though is that if you're just using your smartphone to run RGT and you aren't using a PC or tablet, the RGT app itself on your smartphone even has the steering functionality built right in where it's using the sensors on your smartphone. And then yet another option is that if you have a Kicker bike, you can actually use the buttons in the cockpit to do the steering. But I actually also found that you can use your iPad itself by literally tilting it if you want. So you can actually get a taste of all this steering functionality without necessarily having to get this accessory first. But the accessory certainly does provide probably the best experience. Now, steering isn't something completely brand new with indoor cycling, where Zwift has actually had this around for a while with the Zwift Companion app, as well as with the Elite Sturzo Smart accessory, where if you went to go turn your bars, you would turn in Zwift. But Wahoo's kind of taken a different approach to all this. So in real life, when you go to make a turn at speed, you're really not turning your handlebars all that much. It's more of a leaning motion and shifting your body weight to initiate the turn. At slower speeds, of course, like let's say if you're going around a switchback on your mountain biking, you're definitely turning your handlebars a bit more. But for the sake of road riding, that's not necessarily the case. And that's where with the kicker steer accessory, you don't actually have to turn your bars at all to steer your bike. You'll actually press down on the thumb paddles on each side of the steer to, well, steer. And no, it's not actually leaning your bike or anything like that, but in my mind, it made me feel like I was initiating more of a body position change versus turning my bars. And of course, we are still talking about indoor cycling where nothing can replicate the true physics and true feelings of riding outside, but it's just another way of thinking about steering, which I thought to be interesting. Okay, so let's quickly go over the hardware and then we can talk about how it actually works in RGT. So this is basically a cradle for your smartphone and then sticking out on each side are these adjustable paddles where you can position them to your liking so you can easily use them whenever you're writing. And what I found is that I sort of like them a little bit more to the front, closer to my hoods, where they're easy to reach while on the hoods or even the tops, but it's still out of the way when I'm not using them. And then you'll also notice that they have the paddles on the underside where you can actually pull and steer from the drops. And in terms of how it mounts, I thought this was actually pretty smart. So it mounts using an included Element bike computer mount, but this is no normal mount. It's this super beefy aluminum mount, which is a lot more robust, and there's no risk of breaking it if you get a little bit too saucy when trying to turn. And all that does is just simply attaches by just sliding it on, and it clicks into place, and that's it. It's ready to go. And then when you go to take your bike off the trainer to ride it outside, or if you just don't want to use it, it just simply detaches with this quick release clip. Oh, and lastly, when you're not using the steer, they have this little GoPro mount that goes in its place. And for a couple other nice features, they not only include the Allen wrenches needed for installation, but the Allen wrenches actually neatly stow away underneath. And one more neat thing is that they even include a Garmin compatible quarter turn mount in addition to the element mount. And for how the steering works from a physical standpoint, when you press down on either side of the paddles, it rocks back and forth on the center mount in the middle of the unit. And for how this works best with RGT, you'll want to use the RGT remote app on your smartphone. And this basically just automatically pairs with RGT on your tablet or computer if you're on the same network. And there's a steering menu option over here on the left of the screen. And then on the steering screen, it shows a few options. So at the bottom here, it shows if you're actually initiating a turn. And then above it, you have some other options like being able to adjust the sensitivity of the steering. But you can also turn the tilt option completely off if you'd like. And at that point, you can just simply use the left and right arrows on the screen if you'd like to steer. But for the most real experience, the tilt controls are kind of where it's at. But this does bring up a good point. So you don't technically need the kicker steer to do steering in RGT. If you have a phone mount for your bars, you could simply just use the arrows on the RGT remote app to move left or right. And then in addition, if you have a kicker bike, you can use the buttons of the controls to steer. And if you're using RGT in a computer, you can use the keyboard. But what I found too is that I was even able to tilt my iPad without even using the RGT remote app itself. And that even worked for steering. And of course, just because I wonder about such things, it even worked just placing my iPad on top of the kicker steer. Absolutely, positively not the intended use. And this is definitely one of those do not try this at home things. I kind of tried these things out so you don't have to. 
but for probably the most ideal experience using the RGT remote app with your smartphone, using the kicker steer accessory to steer your bike will be the best experience. Now, in terms of the actual in-game experience of adding an interactive element, yep, you can veer and steer in the lane where you're riding. So here's where you can choose lanes and lines in the game to let's say keep speed while cornering where you could go from the outside of the lane to the inside of a corner, or you could use this to position yourself for drafting, which you could then use for an attack. Now, my first couple of experiences using this were a bit underwhelming for a few reasons. So first of all, the default sensitivity setting was far too unresponsive for my taste, but after adjusting it to almost the most sensitive setting, it was a lot better. There is certainly still a bit of delay though, where it can take a few seconds for it to react within the game, but after some practice, you should be able to nail the apex of those turns. And you'll also notice that there's a little indicator letting you know where you're aiming based on how much you're tilting the steer. The other factor though, for my less than ideal first couple experiences was the course I was on, which was the Borrego track, which is basically a square. And honestly, that was pretty boring. However, then I rode the airport course, which is a nice curvy course with tons of corners, and this was way, way more fun. The other thing that made it a lot more fun though is that on that airport ride, I was actually riding with quite a few real people, which made it a much more engaging where we were all chatting on the race radio feature. And I was really getting into it where I was cutting corners to overtake, I was able to draft, which saved me some watts, and I was able to weave in and out of folks. It was really fun with all those people. The challenge, of course, though, is that there's not that many people riding on RGT at one given time, so to take full advantage of the steering experience, you really need to have a lot of folks on there to have the most fun. Now, when it comes to drafting, if you're using the steering functionality, if you come up behind someone and stay there, even if you're pushing out more watts than the person in front of you, you will actually have to manually steer around them. But they've sort of thought of this too, where if you stop steering for two minutes, it kind of goes into an auto mode where it has automatic avoidance where your avatar automatically passes them. But again, if you're manually steering, you do actually need to steer around the person in front of you to pass them if you're right on their back wheel. So the kicker steer all on its own runs $99.99 in the US and they also have a kicker steer plus Wahoo X subscription bundle for a year for $1.99. So you basically save 50 bucks for the year. And then they also have a special limited time offer for existing Wahoo X subscribers for a little bit of a discount. But for the actual experience, I think it may depend on what you're looking for. For me, I like the experience of using the paddles to initiate a turn versus turning the bars. No, it's not leaning your bike or anything like that, but it just feels a little bit more natural and intuitive to me. But I do think some work needs to be done in terms of the responsiveness from the RGT remote app to the RGT game where the delay does detract from the experience a little bit. And although this kind of, well, it actually is a rather big thing that's hanging off the front of your bars, I do have to give them credit for thinking about how to quickly detach it if you want to ride outside or if you just don't want to necessarily use it that day. In addition to the fact that they also do include a Garmin quarter turn mount for those of us who use Garmin bike computers, but it also works for Wahoo computers as well. The kicker steer hardware accessory really does provide the most ideal experience if you want to use the steering functionality within RGT. But like I was mentioning earlier, you can very well try it out with the on-screen arrows, the buttons on your kicker bike, or even just leaning your iPad or smartphone if you'd like, just to at least give it a whirl to get an idea of the experience. Oh, and for one more thing that Wahoo's rolling out today, they're also rolling out a kicker race mode feature. So this will allow you to broadcast your power data 10 times faster. So instead of broadcasting your data just once per second, that's now bumped up to 10 times per second. So this is gonna be especially useful in race scenarios where you're gonna get nearly instantaneous feedback within the game that supports the Wi-Fi or direct connect hardware connection. But just note again that you do have to have a kicker bike trainer or a kicker bike that has either Wi-Fi or the direct connect hardware accessory. Anyhow, that's everything new with Wahoo's new steering functionality in RGT, the kicker steer accessory, as well as the new kicker race mode. And if you have any questions about anything that I didn't cover in this video, make sure to leave those in the comment section down below. And if you found the information in this video useful, do me a favor and just quickly hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel for plenty more videos that are coming soon. Thanks so much for watching, happy riding, and we will see you in the next video.